How much do you need to put in your 401k each month to retire with? Two million dollars. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Ah, it's an article from CNBC that uh, certain well, gets clicks. I mean, look at it. My man Steve sent this to me, and here I am talking about it, and you might click on it too, and clickbait for sure. Silly, but uh, we'll dive into this. Uh, when I finished up my book, I uh, neglected some of the articles that folks have been sending to me, and I, I do like looking at the articles as well on top of the various uh, financial planning software using right capital on top of my own Excel spreadsheets. So let's dive into this. I think it's pretty interesting because now they have a reprieve from book writing for at least a few days. We can go back some of these articles. So here's a, a date line, uh, July 11th, 2019. How much money should you put in your 401k each month to retire with $2 million? Uh, written by Emmy Martin. I think we've had, I think we've talked about old Emmy before, haven't we? Let's see. So let's read about who old Emmy Martin is, and I think we can predict. Uh, she's an associate money editor at CNBC. Uh, she formerly covered money careers in list and rankings at oh, Business Insider. Okay, there we go. Uh, Business Insider. Let's just put it this way. Uh, they're not giving you a straight shot. There's just no other way around it. Look, I've cited articles from Business Insider, too. They're a little bit better than uh, what's that one that's always clickbait stuff that everyone, uh, I can't remember. There's one out there that's big that is just rank, rank list this, list that. I've drawn a blank what it is. But Business Insider is one step above them. But uh, something, ah, man, I can't believe I can't remember what that is. Anyway, it'll come to me. My son says, if you do this with your eyes, it makes it come back to you. Let's see if you screech. It'll, you're, if you forget something, if you move your eyes back and forth, you can remember it. No, I can't. Right. Anyway. Uh, Emmy has a bachelor's degree from Syracuse and currently lives in Brooklyn, New York. There we go. So she knows what the average Joe is going through. Oh, look, I got no qualm with her. I just think this is probably part and parcel of your mainstream medium today. I uh, worked at uh, a... Uh, a, a magazine kind of uh, clickbaitish thing and then moves up the ranks to CNBC or Washington Post. And here we go. All right, so here's a happy couple. Ha a couple laugh while looking at their phone together. <laughs> well, shoot, Emmy, you can just pay me. Look at me. Looking at my phone, I'm laughing. You can pay me for that stock uh, picture. Experts. Again, who are the experts? I don't know. Often recommend saving up a million dollars before you retire. Uh, but for some people, even a million may be not be, or for many people, excuse me, even a million may not be enough. Thanks in part to longer life expectancies and disappearing pensions. I've got, I, folks, if you think the vast majority of people had pensions in the old days, you are simply wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. I'm telling you right now, the majority of people, even in the 60s, did not have pensions. We know that. A uh, about was about fifty percent or maybe fifty two percent of all firms in the S and P, the biggest firms in the United States, offered a pension back then. That's it. That's it. That's just who had access to it. The private sector. About only about 50, half the companies out there even offered a pension. That's just the big companies. The small companies certainly did not. And how many people actually took that upon themselves to be to receive a pension? They certainly weren't the half. Uh, they weren't everybody. It just wasn't the case. I, just this idea that the pensions, like everyone had this pension in the past, is just silly. We got to get beyond this. It simply isn't true. Did more people have a pension back then? Yes. Did the majority of people have a pension back then? No. And on top of that, the people who did, they still had to stay at that job for 30 years. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, hell, I talk to people from the military, from the police all the time to have a pension from work in 20, 25 years. It's great. But the idea the vast majority of people had pensions back then is just, you, we have got to nip that in the bud. It is simply not true. For those looking to give their retirement plan a boost, CNBC calculated how much you need to put in your 401k each month in order to reach uh, $2 million by age 65. Most financial planners suggest putting away anywhere between 10 and 15% of your gross salary for retirement. I, look, man, I, just don't do anything more in your 401k than the match. Now, if you're in a high tax bracket, that's one thing. But if you're in a 12% to even 22%, man, take the 6% match in your 401k and put the rest in a taxable account without question. Or Roth. Or Roth, even. Or Roth, absolutely. Roth or taxable, lastly, 401k after you take advantage of the match. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, CNBC also calculated the salary you need to earn in order to save two million without putting away more than fifteen percent of your income. I, the whole thing about fifteen percent of your income, just going back to Kotlikoff and consumption spending. If you're putting in fifteen percent of your income on top of the seven point six five percent you're paying into FICA, on top of the Fed, the, your employer's seven point six five percent they're paying into your FICA. Oh, but Josh, FICA seven point six five isn't all retirement income. No, I guess six point two is. But there is what's called Medicare, and that's your Part A, your hospital insurance. So because there is no premium for hospital insurance or Medicare Part A, that part of the FICA tax is being used for your retirement. So, yes, you can't spend it, but you don't have a pension or a premium for HI because you've been putting in. So you already got 15, uh, 15.3 going in between you and your employer. I just I, I cannot stress this enough. Uh, it's worth noting that 401k plans come with contribution limits uh, to 19,000 uh, in 2019. It's also important to remember that investing through a 401k should be seen as a long-term plan. It's impossible to predict future market returns and investors should expect to see or experience uh, ups and downs. Okay, get this. Uh, Here is how much money you need to save by age, uh, to save 2 million by age 65. With a 6% rate of return, if you start at age 25, you'll need to put 10% of your income. What was it say? Annual salary. Okay, annual salary if needed. Okay, so you need, oh. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why it's freaking insane. This is why it just freaking, oh, it ticks me off. You need to be making at 25 years old $120,000 a year in order to save 10% of your income at a thousand dollars a month at a six percent rate of return so if, uh, I, I just i can't it's nuts so you have to have a hundred twenty thousand dollars in a salary put ten thousand dollars a ten percent away a month a year essentially which would give you a thousand dollars per month is what you're putting away that's the yeah there you go 120 so ten thousand there you go perfect thousand bucks a month you get six percent rate of return and you will have two million dollars if you got an 8% rate, this is at 25 years old, my friends. This is how insane this is. Who's making that kind of scratch at 25? And let's go up to someone who's about 40. All right, so at 4% rate of return, let's go 6%. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right, so we're going to 8% because that's just nuts. So if you, if you have 8% rate of return and you are making $250,000, you would have to put 10% of your salary into a, four, and yeah, it doesn't matter, into an account at 8% rate of return, which means you're putting in 2,100 bucks a month each and every year until you're 65 years old. That's just freaking crazy. All right, so let's just go to 40, well, we already did 40, let's do 30. I mean, it's just the whole thing is nuts. I, I mean, this is why I just, who, no one's going to do that, man. No, no, it's just not going to happen. So here, if you're 30 years old and we're going to say you only expect to get an 8% rate of return, uh, you need to be making $104,000 uh, a salary for the next 35 years uh, to, and save 10% of your income. You have to put in 800, basically $900 a month uh, for the next 35 years to get 2 million bucks. No one's going to do that. This is insane. This is why this is so flipping stupid. No one's going to do it. Here, if you're 40, if you want 2 million bucks, you got to save freaking 2,100 bucks a month and get 8%, but you have to be making $250,000. No one makes that kind of money other than, you know, some uh, uh, sub, the 1% do. All those evil 1%ers. And if you're only getting 6% a year, you got to be making $346,000 to save 10% of that. You got to save $2,886. Just it's freaking stupid. Aye. All right. As the numbers show, investing your savings early can be powerful thanks to compound interest, which is any interest. Or, okay. Basically, the earlier rate, yeah, I get it. The earlier you're able to do it. But guess what? No one's making 120000 bucks at 25 years old. <sighs> To figure out where to start investing, you should determine which account your 401k is, uh, your, is the best option for you. Uh, here's a guy, Nick Holman, a certified financial planner and senior financial planner at Betterment, tells NBC, uh, traditional 401ks offer tax, sa tax savings up front with Roth-style accounts after tax withdrawals. So remember, when you're just starting out, you're not making any money. 
So don't use a 401k there. I mean, use it to the extent that you're getting the match in the Roth IRA or the Roth 401k part of it. But don't just defer everything to the 401k, especially not make any money on the front end. That's horrible. I'm telling you, that's what I've been told. No, 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 no. If you're not making any money, put it in the Roth without question. But I don't get the tax deduction. Hell, you're only in the 10 to 12% tax bracket. Ah! Most people should start with a 401k if there's a match. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but again, where's your money going? It should go into the Roth. All right, let's keep us. Of course, savings hundreds of thousands a month. Hundreds or thousands a month is an ambitious goal, but you've already, okay, it's essentially for okay. Uh, this year, the average employer 401k match is 4.7%. All right, so at the end of that, I don't even care. Uh, whatever. Uh, Fidelity has record uh, managed. Uh, that's a record company high. A record high is the company match 4.7. They don't allow comments on this, I don't think. All right, so I don't care. I just, the whole point is just stupid. Um, I see a bunch of, yeah, all right. If you're trying to save two million bucks, what is it that you think in your, I mean, that you're going to get that 5%, you're going to get a million, a hundred thousand dollars a year. You're going to get the max in social security if you're making that kind of scratch as it was. And the max, I think this year uh, for full retirement age is about 3,000 a month. So that's another 36,000. That means you'll be living in retirement. And if you're married, let's just say your spouse, she's going to get the spousal benefit. That's 18,000. So you're going to get 52,000, right? Or 54,000, 54,000 plus you're going to have $154,000 between your 5% withdrawal and you and her social security. Do you need that kind of money? Are you literally living off that kind of money now? No. It's not. All right. I appreciate it. So my man, Steve, sent me this uh, mucho gracias. Uh, that's uh, Spanish for those of you who are not bilingual like your old buddy, Josh. Uh, Koktala, and that's Russian for, I think that was Russian for hello. And then Dankeschön, that's a uh, thank you in German. So look at that, four languages right there. English, Spanish, German, and Russian, all here. All here at Heritage Wealth Planning. Don't forget Smash. We'll see you next time.